Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Pascarette. Welcome to day two of NI Week. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, yesterday geeking out to all those new products and technology and had a chance to refuel last night on 6th Street because we're going to go right back at it today uh, in day two. Now, for those of you that are newbies to NI Week, I want to explain our keynote strategy. Yesterday was all about shipping products. So we came up with some very smooth, flashy, and in some cases electric demos to show off these new products in action. Today's a little different. Today's going to look something like this. That's right. Today, we're going to take a peek inside the innovation machine of NI. And so for the next hour, we're going to have engineers come up and show you the products and technologies that they're working on right now. These aren't quite ready to buy. Some of them are just interesting ideas. But we're excited to show you a little glimpse into the future with these demos. And these are the real engineers working on these products, so we'll give them a break. Sometimes it can get a little rough, that's the point. We like to push the edge on day two. Now speaking of innovation, over the last five years, we've completely reinvented our process for innovating by putting you, the customer, and the system integrator directly in the middle of that process. Whether it's through NI Labs, where you can play with new ideas and give us feedback, or working with us on our website in private groups where you can communicate directly with the engineers working on these products. And then this year, we saw how Idea Exchange was a driving force in driving the new features of LabVIEW 2010. In fact, today, you'll actually see a few partners and customers up on stage talking about some of these new technologies in the process of being developed. In addition, we'll mention something new called our Early Access Program. These are products that are targeted at new application spaces or early adopters that we're coming out with that our engineering teams will stay very close to those customers to ensure their success and learn the most as we roll these out. In addition to reinventing the input process for innovation, we've also re-engineered the execution side. That would be R&D. It's no longer a few guys in Austin cranking out new products. We're taking advantage of the incredible workforce available around the globe. And as you can imagine, this is a pretty big operation. All of these engineers wearing NI shirts on their chest are working together to provide the platforms that you can take advantage of. As you can imagine, um, that's a big job. And for our first demo, we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to demo a human being. Uh, we have a new face at NI, and I'd like to introduce him to the NI Week crowd. Please welcome our Senior Vice President of R&D, Phil Hester. Thanks, John. Morning, Phil. Pleasure to be here. Morning. All right, Phil, looking at your bio, uh, it says you've spent about 20 years at IBM, so I know you can handle a big operation. But uh, tell us a little more about what attracted you to NI. Sure. I think there's several things. First, you know, NI is unique in a number of areas. One is we control both the hardware and the software. And I think most people would agree that that allows you to innovate the best when you can control both. The second thing is really the growing global nature of national instruments. As John mentioned, I spent over 20 years at IBM, much of that time really learning how to develop and deliver global customer solutions. The third thing that attracted me here is the culture. I went from IBM to a startup and then to a mid-sized company. And NI has the innovative culture of a startup, but also the capability of delivering global solutions like a midsize and a large company. The fourth thing is the fact that our customers are largely engineers and scientists. And being an engineer at heart, that's a lot of fun. All right, well, now that you're on the inside, um, can you share some of your first impressions of NI? Well, um, first thing is just the breadth of the products. It's amazing the breadth of what we've got. You walk the show floor downstairs, and it really hits you. The second thing is the fact that we're truly now pushing the state of the art. If you look at one of these charts here, my favorite Dr. T chart that's talked about the history of NI over the years, and you've lived this, John, going from very simple low speed devices to ones that are now truly pushing the state of the art in terms of both frequency and resolution. You look at some of the RF products, the optical products, and a number of the others you'll see on stage today, and those truly are pushing the state of the art. And as we push that state of the art, it also drives us in other areas, such as global support, repair, and calibration. 
So we're working on that. And then, you know, there's really not a bits versus frequency chart for software. But if there was, LabVIEW would be at the very edge of pushing the state of the art. And so that's exciting from a software standpoint. And then likewise, we've got very simple software offerings like Instant DAC to allow us to instantly get going on some of our simple DAC measurements. And then we've got dozens of software products in between. All right, now, um, looking forward, uh, what kind of opportunities do you see at, at NI here? Well, John, um, there's lots of opportunities here. Continue to develop the products that we talked about, but also really understand the breadth of what our customers are doing with the products. It's really evolving quite a bit. We've got engineers and scientists that may be doing research on the latest communications technology that need high performance FPGA technology and the latest software to model that, to more and more customers that are taking our products into a production environment, one that has to be reliable 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the challenge is really how do we deliver both the latest features and functions, but also deliver a great set of products that are highly reliable. And that'll be a journey for us. We'll work with our customers to understand how to do that. And then finally, as we look at how to develop these solutions, growing our partner relationships, being able to build larger, more complete solutions for customers that are demanding really high-end systems and solutions. All right, Phil, I'm not gonna let you off the hook that easy. Um, now that you've been here a while, what do you see that we can improve on? Um, you know, John, I think it's really continued doing what NI has been doing, platform completion, continuing to develop a broad set of products. But the one thing that I guess I would add in addition to the feature and reliability challenge is that of usability. I think it's important that we focus on usability of our products, regardless of whether it's the engineer or scientist in the lab, or it's a production test engineer. We've got to really work on usability. Okay, so uh, this isn't actually your first NI week. Last year, you were kind of lurking around as a consultant. So now that you're in place, what do you want to accomplish this week? What was that word, John? How did you describe how I was here? What was you the were, word? You were lurking. I mean, no one knew what you lurking. were doing. Lurking. Uh, you're a marketing guy, right? Uh, that's right. I well, am. As I mentioned, I'm an engineer, an R&D guy, but even I can come up with a better word than lurking. Uh, um, you know, I guess what I would say, and I'll stick with your L themes here, uh, I'm here to look and listen. And really, I want to listen to what you have to say about our products. Um, I'd like to know what you like about them, but more importantly, what you don't like about them. What do we need to do different? Uh, I'd also be willing to bet that at least one of you in this audience has an idea for a product that's not on a roadmap. So we'd like to learn a lot about what do you want us to do beyond what you're going to hear about today. All right, guys, so there he is. Uh, have Adam with your ideas. Um, and Phil, I just want to one last time welcome you to NI Week uh, and welcome you to NI and LabVIEW Woodstock. So Woodstock, peace brother, about time. All right.